Hey guys, welcome back, it's me XR Hammer, and I'm playing some Dungeon Defenders 2. Now, what I'm going to be doing is, oh, first off, I'm playing on Forest Biome, right, KS7, and I've been doing a little bit of experimenting, right, because, I'm not going to lie to you, I was getting bored of just using EV2, right, which, she is my strongest character at the minute, right, so, what I've been doing, is I've been messing about, and I now love the Poison Dart Towers. And just in case you didn't know, I'm going to abbreviate it and call it the PDT. It's just quicker. It's easier, right? <laughs> and yeah, these guys are insane, right? Absolutely insane. I love them, right? Now, what I'm running on them, mass destruction, defense rate, deadly strikes, right? I do have, what is it? Uh, enhanced poison? Boom. I don't know. I didn't really like it, right? I don't need to increase the rate of the poison, right? So just stick with deadly strikes, right? Now I do need barricades, unfortunately, but as you know, the PDTs could probably do it on their own, right? But I'm not happy with that. So what I've done is I've changed the lava mansa. I also renamed him. I do believe he's called Mansa Lava. Uh, where's his name? Yeah, there it is. Look, up on the left. Mansa Lava, <laughs> because why not? And I've done up his oil geysers, right? Now, they're not here to deal damage, right? It might look that way, but they're not. They're here to slow and cover everything in oil, right? That's it. It's beautiful, right? And if you double them up with the flame auras, this is insane. Like, wow, that lag. Thanks, game. What's going on? Stop it. Wow. Hmm. Well, it didn't do this in testing. <laughs> right, now, I know I could put four down here. Right? It might be a bit overkill, but I really... <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's so much fun, either way. Right, and three oil geysers, just in case. It really is overkill, right? Now, let's go to the squire. I always double blockade, right? Just because it makes it just... A... It stops the lady orcs, the berserkers, right? And I know I call them Lady Orcs a lot. It's it's not going to change. <laughs> and yeah, right. They they just annoy me. <laughs> they just move far too quick and they'll just get in between. And like you leave a tiny little gap and they're through it. I don't like that one. Right. <laughs> yeah, like the tiniest of gaps. And these ladies just seem to think they can just go strolling through it. Right. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Right, now... I always put these up on the fence, well, if you can call it that, up on the bridge, just to keep them out of the way, just in case anything does get through. Right Now, it really shouldn't. I've tested this, unlike my Earth Shatter one. <laughs> and, yeah, nothing gets through, pretty much. Well, I hope not. Now that I've said that, everything's going to get through, and I'm going to make myself look like a fool. Right, so we'll go with Flame Oars again. So we'll go one... Two. I do believe I can get three in here comfortably. One, two, and three. And then the same with these. I can go one, two, and three. Right. And then I do believe I need four on this lane. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. I could probably get away with three. If I just move this slightly further back. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, and again, oil geysers. Now, I'm not going to say this is, you know, a legit build. It's just a matter of throwing together. It was fun. I really am enjoying using it. So if you've got these characters, just do it. <laughs> just do it, just once. It's loads of fun, honestly. It really is loads of fun. Right, one, two, three, and four. That'll do nicely. And then I might have some points left over as well. Don't know what I'm going to do. Might throw another PDT down. I might do. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's go and throw it on the boss lane. As the bosses always tend to spawn over here. Until the last wave. And then you might get one down there. Potentially. Right, let's go right here. Beautiful. I still got more points. Wow. Oh, don't 
That'd be because <laughs> I didn't PDT up this lane, did I? That'd be why I've got points left. Right. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> oh dear. Well done, Hammer. It was going so well. It was going so well. Right, you're really far back. Right, come on, stop it. Right. Here we go. Right, now I'm going to use good old monk. What I might do actually, right, while I'm here, is go into here and take off Call of the Cold, uh, Cobalt, just so we can actually see. Because we, we can't see with it up. Right, now let's go. What I'm going to do is just leave them to do their thing. And this is honestly insane. Like, the PDTs only really kick in with the Berserkers. Like, it's just crazy. Like, these oil geysers, for the win. For the win. And the PDTs, you'll see, they are just so effective, it's unbelievable. Like, they can hit multiple targets, they poison them, it's amazing. Like, they just wreck everything. They really do. Well, 1.14 mil, 191,000 poison damages. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, I'm not having to do a thing, not a single thing. Oh, look at that. Lady Orcs be gone. Done. They're done. That's it. I've won. <laughs> uh, if only it was that easy. Right, now... I am going to experiment with Onslaught a bit more and see where I can get these to work. Like, which lanes, you know, they work better on and so on and so forth. All right, let's do a couple of upgrades just on the PDTs. As I really do not need to upgrade the Flame Auras. Not, and not one bit. <laughs> not one bit. All right, let's go. Now, we will have a boss this round. And I'm not going to join in with a boss. I'm just going to let my defences take out the boss. I don't even know what it is. It's going to be a siege roller now, isn't it? That would be just my luck. <laughs> oh, it really would as well. So I'd have to take it out. I mean, I could put the PDTs. Whoa. What is going on with this lag? I genuinely didn't like just go, ah with my controller. I, I really did not do that. Right, I should have sped it along quite a lot. Wait, ah. I jinxed it. Honestly, I jinxed it. Wow. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, wow, right. Let's just get rid of it. I'm upset now. You need to be disposed of when the game stops lagging. Why is it lagging so bad? Honestly, I really don't know. It wasn't like this. <laughs> it really was not like this. Like, half an hour ago. It really wasn't. Right, we've got Quibbling Griblock. There we go. Super testing. Right. Beautiful. That's, ooh. I can max them out. What, are they hitting? Tier 4, they're hitting, like, just insane. Tier 5, yeah. That's just silly. Like, that is insane. Wow. Oh, and also, guys, look at this, right? The Lava Manta has a skill called, not that, that's his secondary attack, called Eruption, right? Now, if you use it, the oil geysers go like this. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love it. It just looks so cool. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, All right? Look, hey, stop it! You need—I haven't got eighty energy. Wow, I suck. <laughs> right, oh, go! No, 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 no! I'm gonna die. I feel it. Fit. Oh, oh no, I'm not. You see that? They just wrecked that assassin. Where's Griblock? I thought he was spawning. Has he got stuck? Oh no, no, he's just taking his time. He got slowed. Look at these PDTs. Thanks. <laughs> Beautifully done. Ooh. 
I'll take that. I'll take everything. Why not? And yeah, guys, on the PDT, this is primarily why I was using the flame orders, is because I really don't have anything for it. I've got this, it's got defense rate on it. The defense rate's probably just a complete loss because it's already got defense rate over here and the full ascension over here. So, yeah, you know, I probably am losing out, but I just I don't have anything. <laughs> I really don't. Ideally, I'd have something nice with Pierce on it. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. Anywho, who have we got spawning in? We've got... Uh, Slakeleon and Quibbly. I hope that's Slakeleon. Never know which one it is. I'm pretty sure Slakeleon faces to the right. Pretty sure he does. Alright, I don't know. Maybe he does. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. But, yeah, I'm loving this build, guys. Really loving it. So much fun. Uh, I'm missing my Call of a Kobold. Because I can actually see the screen. It's... <laughs> uh, I do love that shard. I do love it. Alright, come on. We'll get rid of these. What I might try doing is just pulling the PDTs a little bit closer. Or maybe putting them up here facing... I don't know. Look at that. Done for. 100% done for. Oh, it's a Plaguing Hulk. Obviously it's a Plaguing Hulk. <laughs> it had to be, didn't it? Right, look at Quibbly. I mean, yeah, he's going to get a shot off. Two shots, but still, that's, that, that's nothing. I can just go ding, done. Fixed. Perfect. Oh, that's just insane. Thank you, PDTs. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Right, now, should I try it? Hmm, what have I got coming out? Malpheus and a Tuscar for the final wave. Have I got one over here? What are you? An ogre. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell that. Because that will give me enough to put a PDT up here. Now, hopefully, it won't get attacked by any of the kobolds. And right, we're going to max it out. <laughs> oh, this should be fun. Right. Oh, wicked. Apparently I died, but I didn't. We'll see, Matt. But yeah, this is... See, I really need a piercer mod on it. Because they're just bouncing all over the place. Oh, assassin. No, thank you. Get out of it. But the flame aura should be taking these geos out. I don't know why they're not. Ooh, I really need that piercer mod. I really need it. Back to the farming board. That's amazing. I love it. Hee <laughs> hee. Beautiful stuff. I wonder. Ah, I've got no DU. Right. Oh. No, you don't. Alright, Ogre's down. Tuscar and Malpheus. Wow, another assassin. Stop it, please. Come on, PDTs. Done. <laughs> I love it. Tuscar will be down in a second. Beautiful. And Malpheus is down. That's ridiculous. I love it. Ooh, I'll take you. <laughs> Why not? Uh, controller. Ooh. Don't do it to me. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing good. What's on here? Anti-melee. Wow. So, yeah. I need to do a little bit of farming. But that, guys, is... I love it. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Ooh, a gold ingot spawned. Ooh. Nice water chip on that. Let's pick it all up. Da-da, da-dum, 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 da-dum. 
Right, absolutely beautiful. Let's go and find this gold ingot. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I'm going to show you all. Ooh, that took a bit of damage. Yeah, I'll repair it. Why not? Right. Now, if it says, if you're doing this map and it says a gold ingot has spawned in, right? You go around and it'll be on one of these gold veins, right? There's a few of them dotted around. You jump up and right click it and you'll get this floating bit of gold follow you. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> what you do is you bring it over to this furnace and you craft a golden key, right? Now, that's just a normal key. As you can see, top left, I have the golden key. Now, what you do is you take it up here to this little hidden tree house. Right? This is awesome. All the way up here. And then, but when I actually get up here, I got blocked by a mushroom. There's a chest. And you can inspect it. It drops your stuff. Awesome. Right? Extra loot. More money. How awesome is that? Right? Just for getting there. Like, yeah. It's amazing. And you've got to love it, guys. <laughs> right. I'm going to end the video off here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.